A lot of the response came from women. For women find him very yeah. sexy. Yeah. Uh, did you ever get any erotic fan mail? A lot. I did. Uh, Isaac Asimov, a uh, great science fiction writer, uh, did a piece at the time for uh, TV Guide, and we became friendly. He, he called the piece, It's Sexy to be Smart. And he complained about the fact that his family had always seen him as smart but never thought he was sexy. Now here along comes this, this guy who is intelligent, and his daughter, Asimov's daughter, was enamored of Spock, and he asked her why. She said, well, he's so smart, Dad. <laughs> you know? So, uh, and, oh, he had a phrase which I thought was, uh, was helpful in, in pinpointing the attraction. He said, Spock is a security blanket with sex uh, sexual overtones. Here's a, here's a Barbara Walters question for you. If you were to become a Vulcan, which emotion would you miss the most? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to answer that question because you you're not Barbara Walters. <laughs> you won't answer that question. Oh, no. All right, I'll answer this one. Jane Wyatt once joked about Spock's first name being Harold. Is that, is that true? What is Spock's no, first Spock's name? Mr. Spock's first name is Mr., and that's the end of that story. Finally, uh, since you, you, is it uh, safe to assume that you are always going to be remembered as Spock? I think it's safe to assume that, and I'm totally comfortable with it.